So it's a beautiful sunny day out here in North Yorkshire and uh, this is the uh, box containing all the bits and pieces for the uh, Stuart S50 engine. Um, now there are four main reasons why I uh, chose this particular model and uh, first of all um, it's supposed to be a good starter engine for a novice like me. Uh, secondly this uh, little, mo little model has been uh, built by many model engineers in the past and there are various forums that might be able to help uh, provide me with uh, well, help and advice if I get stuck. Um, thirdly, the Tubal Kane, not Mr. Pete 222, uh, wrote a 10 part uh, series in 1992 for Model Engineer, uh, which covered the making of the engine in detail. Uh, copies of these articles are available free to download from Model Engineering website, um, so that's a fantastic source of information. And uh, finally, spare parts are actually available from uh, Stuart Engines, albeit at a price. But if I mess up on one of these components, um, there is potentially a way out, um, you know, to buy the individual component as, to, as, to, as opposed to having to buy um, a complete kit. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to have a go at machining the base plate. So the uh, little uh, engine comes with a set of uh, instructions um, consisting of quite a detailed um, diagram of all the components with all the measurements, um, parts list and a parts diagram. Um, but unfortunately just a, a brief list of assembly instructions and there's nothing in here that actually tells you how to make the model. So if you compare that with the 10 part series that Tubal Kane did for Model Engineer, um, you know, he covers the making of each of the components in quite some detail. So hopefully, um, in conjunction with both sets of documents, uh, I should be able to build this model, fingers crossed. Now today, I'm going to concentrate on the um, sole plate, I think they call it, and I think they might also call it a bed plate, it's referred to a bed plate here, and um, the first thing I'll be looking to do is to check the level of the base and try and sort that out. Um, secondly, I'll be looking to uh, mark up um, these crosshead guides, I think they call them, and the cylinder base. Um, and then I'll look to mill those. Um, after doing that, I'll be looking to mark up the main bearings here. I think I need an angle plate for that, so uh, which I haven't got, so uh, we'll have to see how we get on. Um, having marked those up, I'll look to make some brass bushes which uh, is something that Tubal Cain refers to in here. There's no reference in here. Um, but I think that's an option I'll go with as opposed to just um, running in this cast iron. Um, having made the brass bushes, um, I'll centre one of the bearings, drill through, um, so I think 7.8mm, um, and then from the same side center and then drill through here and then finally ream um, to uh, the right diameter. So let's see how we get on. Well, as you can hear there are some high spots on the uh, base of this sole plate. I think the high spots are these corners. Um, also needs tidying up around here uh, maybe with a file or something. So what I'm going to do is to Put some die chem around here and then I'll put some emery paper on here and just finally go over it with the emery paper to identify those high spots and then I'll work out how to address them. Now then, having uh, put the uh, layout fluid on, um, it has highlighted a couple of high spots. So first of all what I'm going to do is just tidy these up with a, 
a hand file and then I'll use the emery to uh, on on the surface plate to uh, see uh, if there's any other high spots okay so a slight change of plan um, what I've decided to do first of all is tidy up the edges of the casting so I'm just going to do that on this uh, little bench grinder now I think this is about four degrees um, off perpendicular so I've just set this guide four degrees and I'll just try and tidy up these edges Okay, so having tidied up the edges, um, it's a lot more level on the base. So I'm just going to use this emery. Clean all the faces. Perfect. Really flat. Happy with that. Okay, so I'm just marking up the uh, cylinder supports. One and a half inches from the base. And I'll add another 21 64ths and then mark up these guides. So the uh, sole plate is uh, firmly clamped down on each end and I've just put these clamps at the side to stop any movement. There's some clamps around here as well. So we'll take um, 10 thou off at a time and then finish with a 5 thou cut. Now the crosshead slides and these need to be 21 64ths higher than this lead. It's all marked but it's just double checking. Well that seemed to work very well with a nice finish. Um, so now it's a matter of marking out the centre for the main bearings. Um, now I can do this side. And this side. However, um, I need an angle plate now. like that. So uh, I'll have to wait until uh, one arrives. Okay so the angle plates arrived and I've marked up the main bearings. Also I've marked up the position where the um, screws will come through to hold the cylinder um, on top of uh, the sole plate. Now the distance between um, this hole and this hole is supposed to be half an inch but half an inch puts it out here so I've actually changed that measurement so um, both measurements now are 7 16 from that centre position so 7 16 there and 7 16 there I don't think it's that critical, 
because you can uh, you know define where the holes are going to be uh, drilled in the cylinder when it comes to it so we'll get on and uh, start drilling okay so this is the exciting bit now <laughs> um, drilling the holes for the main bearings now um, I've made some brass bushes um, which are 5 sixteenths so first of all I'm going to centre drill and I'll use a variety of drill bits to get up to 7.8 millimetres then if I can I'll use this centre drill to centre drill that and then repeat um, drilling um, up to 7.8 millimetres um, then I'll ream the whole lot uh, 5 sixteenths now I've just put a little feeler gauge under, under this end just to um, make sure that um, everything's sort of parallel um, so fingers crossed we'll give it a try It's got a little bit of movement there, so I'm going to see if I can uh, sort that out. Okay, so this is a 4mm uh, drill bit, and uh, I've gone through this hole here, and uh, I've concluded that my centre drill just won't be long enough. Um, so while I'm on 4mm, four, four I'm going to uh, see if I can go through the other side with this. That seemed to work okay. I can't see the other side but from this side it looks to be on centre. So I'll carry on. Okay so that's the 7.8mm hole right through and this is the um, 5 16 reamer. So I'll run this at 200 rpm. So these are the little bushes I've made, um, so I've used some Loctite to secure them and um, the hole in the middle is 6mm so I'm going to ream to a quarter of an inch and uh, I did mess up a little bit because I took the bed plate off the mill to uh, put these bushes in and I didn't have like an end stop. Um, so my x-axis is... I lost it basically. Anyway I think I've recovered it by using 6mm drill in the chuck and working out where it should be. So hopefully this should ream okay. Anyway we'll give it a bash. 1000 rpm. So that went extremely well. Um, the holes in the uh, brass bushes that I made are spot on dead centre. Um, this little uh, brass rod, test rod, um, fits perfectly. Um, 
the little flywheel turns very nicely. Um, I put a set square along these guides here and that's spot on 90 degrees so I can't complain about that. So all I need to do now to finish off is drill some holes here for the oilers which I'll, I think I'll do that at some future point in time. Um, there's the holes here to secure it to, I don't know, a wooden base or whatever which I'll do off camera and I'll also uh, drill these holes here off camera so these will uh, secure the cylinder and underneath I'll just flatten that area using an end mill. Hi, so off camera um, I've drilled the holes for the 7VA screws that will hold the cylinder on. I've also underneath, um, I think you call it spot faced, um, using a mill. So that just flattens it so that the um, screw stroke bolt can, the head can lie, lie properly. And uh, I've also drilled the holes to um, sort of attach it to some kind of a base. Uh, I've drilled those an eighth of an inch and again spot faced on top. Um, so the only thing that I haven't done is um, drill the holes for the oilers. Now I'm not too sure what oilers to get. The, the ones you can get from Stuart Models um, I think they're about £5 each. Um, so that's £10 and by the time I bought um, the taps to tap the threads I think you're probably talking about 30 quid in total so I'm just going to hold off on that but if anybody's any uh, suggestions on the best oilers to get I'd really really appreciate that um, anyway I hope you like the results so far and uh, my next video will show you me making the flywheel so hope to see you later